Good evening and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us for a service of night pr prayer or compline on Wednesday the 7th of July 2021. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for our Rector, the Reverend Joe Richards and our Assistant Curate, the Reverend Jenny Walpole. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Our traditional hymn for Compline is spoken. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O oh, Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Our psalm is taken from Psalm 31, starting at the first verse. The refrain is, Into your hands I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me. For you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, when scorn and shame besiege us and hope is veiled in grief, hold us in your wounded hands and make your face shine on us again, for you are our Lord and God. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our short scripture reading is taken from the first letter of Peter, chapter 5, verses 6 and 7. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Our responsory. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Our Gospel canticle is the Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people 
a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Most gracious Lord, we thank you for the day that has just passed. Forgive us for anything that we have done to mar the beauty of your presence in our lives. And we thank you particularly today for the ordained ministry of this benefice for our rector, Joe Richards, for our assistant cu curate, Jenny Walpole, and for all retired priests, those with permission to officiate, and those who have done their duty. We ask that you continue to bless all of them, active and passive, for the benefit of all the peoples they have helped over the years. And we ask you to continue to bless those who are working to become priests of your blessing and name. We also ask you, Lord, this evening, as we hold their names forward to you in the silence of our hearts, names that you know, we ask you to bless people about whom we are concerned, whom we love, whom we know. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for being with me this evening for night prayer and for uh, Compline and uh, the rector, the Reverend Joe Richards, will be with you tomorrow morning at nine o'clock for morning prayer. Have a very safe and quiet night. Remember, God loves each and every one of us. Bye for now.